I have here a starting system that I built to be able to explain the different components that we use in the system. This is where the battery is. I've connected a jump box to this to allow us to jump this. Here's my battery negative post. Here's my battery positive post. Up here at the top, this is my ignition switch. So on a car, this might be a key like this or a button or something similar. Right here, I have a safety switch. So in an automatic transmission, we wanna make sure that we're either in park or neutral when we start the vehicle. In a manual transmission, we would utilize a clutch pedal position sensor or clutch safety switch to determine if my clutch has been engaged. Nearly every starting system is going to have some type of a starter relay. This is the coil side of the starter relay and this is the switch side of the starter relay. This will allow me to take a small wire and run it to the ignition switch up through the, the steering column and then use a, a little larger gauge wire to come over here to the solenoid. This is my starter assembly. This is mounted to the engine in order to turn over the engine. The top of here, I have a solenoid. So most starters are going to have an integrated solenoid that's part of the starter assembly. Some Fords utilize a separate solenoid. So here's a starter solenoid. This might actually be mounted up in the engine compartment. I'll turn this on its side and we'll take a look at the pins on the starter solenoid. So I have a direct connection to the battery. We have a large gauge wire. That large gauge wire goes to one end of the solenoid. And then I also have a pin, an input pin, to be able to engage or turn on the solenoid. The solenoid then has this braided wire or something similar, depends on the style of starter, that takes the energy that is available right here at this red wire and allows it to pass through and make contact into the brushes for the starter assembly, allowing it to rotate. The second thing, so the, the solenoid acts as a, switch, as a switch for that. The second thing that the solenoid does is, is it also then pushes out this gear to engage with the starter, and we'll see that here in a minute when we crank this over. Starters are mounted to the engine. You don't see it here, I have it mounted on the back end, but when I mount this to the engine, that's where the starter will get its ground. So there's not a second cable that goes to battery ground. There's a cable from battery ground to the engine, and then from the starter housing, the current can pass through the, the engine itself. So let's crank this over and take a look at what it looks like when we start. So it's going to be a little bit loud, but we're going to see one, this, this gear is going to slide out and then we'll see it begin to rotate.